What's up guys, Buddy Love here. I'm going to show you guys real quick a few things that's going to help you out in this game. First, let's just bring up the map. So, if you've been playing this game for a long time, you don't even know how to get started on the campaign, don't worry. I don't either. However, um, I've really been just focusing on trying to get my guy to 100, and it's hard as hell to do. And if you go to this spot right here, this is a spot where you can basically level your character up without having to do a whole lot of work just know that it's going to take a long long time and it's super beneficial so just go to this spot once you get to this spot you're going to notice the the dinosaur dogs or whatever you call them they're going to be like chilling once you engage those dogs they're going to get up and you can start basically farming by just standing in place right other thing I'm going to show you guys in this video is it took me a long time to figure out how to use my spells and Ashes of War on my weapons. So I finally got that figured out and I'm going to show you guys uh, that as well. And I'm actually show you guys that before we get started. So first things first, Ashes of War. So if you don't know Ashes of War are things that you can equip to your sword and it gives you an, uh, it gives you the ability to you know just have more power and, and technique with your weapons right so you want to go ahead and pick the swords you want and then you can apply the ashes of war so if you've been playing this game for a minute you probably already have these you just probably don't know what to do with them like me um another thing you want to do if you want to cast certain spells you want to make sure that you had a demi human queen staff and i forget why i got this set but i eventually got it uh, play the game enough and you'll probably get it and if, if you're like me you probably got it don't know what to do with it and then you just want to have a shield all right like after that you want to make sure that you have spells to memorize all right so what what it is for me i wanted to create a warrior class but i quickly realized that that close combat stuff ain't gonna work in this game you're gonna need to learn how to do spells and the way you do that is you have to start building your play up to have more intelligence. And you also have to have more faith as well. So you do that by increasing your intelligence and increasing your faith. And I'm going to show you guys uh, a few a few different things. So you got the urgent heal and then you got your fireball as well. So um, I don't know how to do the fireball just yet, but I'm going to show you guys uh the urgent heal and i'm gonna show you guys the burst another thing you can do is as you find as you find these things right here so use sacred tear to increase the amount so as you find those things a uh, sacred tear you can start using those to increase your inventory amount as well as finding those um golden seeds so use golden seeds to increase your inventory and if you look at mines i got i do a 62 and you can really just do an eight because i really never use this one and two class or whatever so um so that's what i'm gonna show you guys right now and before we get started i'm gonna just show you guys how oh yeah that's another thing too so when you get access to the, the round table, you want to make sure that you buy this finger seal. It's like 600 bucks, I think, but it's, it's pretty cheap. And if you don't have it yet, don't worry. Just do what I'm about to show you guys, this method. And you'll be able to go back to the round table and buy all the stuff that you need or whatever. You can do this thing butt naked if you want to. Um, so you want to get this finger seal and you want to get this uh, claw maker seal and it lets you know down there at the bottom where it says passive effects you can boost um beast your incantation and for this one it's just a finger seal so you can use your um uh, spells right another thing is crafting make sure that you get your crafting pot and using let me tell you the number two crafting things to use your fire pot and your and i have them already I got them equipped so you want to use your fire pot and your fetid pot or whatever but this is deadly poison so you want to have the poison and you want to have the fire another thing you want is your lantern go ahead and get your lantern get that in your repertoire all right so let me show you guys real quick how to use these things so first i have this magic wand push up in your d-pad you have your crystal burst hold r1 
if you're playing it on. And then you, you get a chance to use that. All right. The way you use your urgent heal, you want to make sure that you have either this seal and then you just hold L1. That's, that's how you do your urgent heal. That's a way you can heal without using one of your flasks. So now let's go ahead and get into, oh yeah, how you use this as well. So the way you use your sacred blade, okay, you got to have this, <laughs> this thing open. <laughs> You know, R L2, and that's how you use that sacred blade. All right, and if you want to double hand your weapon, hold triangle, hit R1, and now you're gonna double hand your weapon. So every time you use it, you have two hands on it. All right, so that gives you more attacks. So let's go ahead and get this thing started. So you're going to hear that guy sound that horn. Once he sounds that horn, everybody's going to start attacking those guys. And I'll just forward, fast forward it to the end for you guys to, so you can see basically how, how it works. All right. So they just about killed the last dog. And, and you see, now I have 1,800. Before we increasing my faith. Okay then. So now I can finally use the the big heel. So now I can finally use the big heel and, and then I'm gonna try to see if I can do this. Oh snap, here we go. Let's see if I can do the fireball. Alright, here we go. Fireball. Hey, fireball, my boy. Hey, okay then. Let's go. Now I can try this one. That's a max heal. Okay. And you can heal everybody. Okay. Cool. That's how you do that, y'all. Peace.